Hi and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I crocheted this really cute alpaca you see right here. So if you'd like to see how I made this, just keep on watching. So first we're going to start with crocheting the legs and here is the yarn that I used. I used some white acrylic yarn and then I used this furry yarn at the side you can see here just to create the effect of fur and I use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so let's get started with the legs so first you're going to make a magic ring with four stitches and this is how I make a magic ring first we do kind of chain one And then I do four single crochets into this ring. So when you have your four stitches, you're just gonna pull the thread just like I did right here. So you have this little circle. So now we can work these stitches. And that was the first round. So for the second round, we're going to do increases and that means we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch so that we double our stitches amount. So in the end of this row, you're going to have eight stitches. So for the third row, you're going to do a single crochet and then an increase. And here I just used a blue thread to mark where my rounds start. So I don't have to count my stitches all the time. So one single crochet and then in the next stitch we do two single crochets and that is an increase. And you just want to follow that sequence all the way around. So now I've done that and for the third, fourth row you're going to do two single crochets and then an increase and repeat that sequence all the way around so that we have 16 stitches. And for row number 5, we're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch, so 16 single crochets for this round. For row number 6 to 7, we're also just going to do a single crochet in each stitch, but now we're going to do join the other yarn, the fur yarn. And here you can see how I just twisted it, because now we're going to be crocheting the other way around. And the reason why I do that is so we have the, the fur on the outside, so it's going to look like our alpaca actually have fur. So here you can see I just turn my work around and now I'm just going to work the other way around, as you can see me doing right here. So this is not difficult at all and we're going to crochet the alpaca this way for the entire project. So here just making single crochets with both threads and you want to do this for the rest of this round and another round. 
so now we have this and for row number eight we're going to do six single crochets and then we do a decrease and we do that twice so in the end of this row we're going to have 14 stitches and still working the opposite way that we normally would so you can see it get really furry So for row number 9, we're going to do 5 single crochets and then a decrease and do that twice. So in the end of this row, we're going to have 12 stitches. For row number 10 to 13, so the next 3 rows, we're going to do 12 single crochets, so just a single crochet in each stitch. So now that was actually the leg, so now we're going to make 3 more of these legs. And then we're going to join them so we can make the body. So now you're not going to cut the yarn for just one of your legs like I have here. And then you're going to grab one of your other legs where you have cut the thread. And then first of all you're going to chain 5. And that is I'm doing that here. So make a chain of five and then you grab your other leg right here and then you're going to join it just somewhere in the top row just like that and then you make a single crochet and that's how you join them just like that so now we're going to make 11 single crochets on this other leg so we're just going to make kind of another round And the last one, just like that. So now we're going to do half double crochets down this row of our chain five. So we yarn over and go into the first chain and pull through three loops and pull through all three loops. Just like that. That is a half double crochet. So you're going to make five of them. That was two. four and five just like this so now we're going to crochet 11 stitches around the other leg where we started So go around that and then make 11 stitches. So 
So now we're going to make five half double crochets down the other side, down the chain five, as we just did once before. So when you've done this, you're going to do this one more time with your other two legs. So when you've done this, you're going to repeat what we just did with the other two legs. So you're going to have two of these. So now I've done that, and here I've not cut my yarn. So now we're going to just sew these two pieces together in the middle. So you want to make sure you have 10 stitches you can work on each leg and that is how you're going to measure where you're going to sew it. Or just, just about 10, it doesn't really matter if you have 9 or 11 or 1 leg, you're not going to be able to see that anyway, but just about 10 stitches you can work on each leg. And other than that, just you're going to sew it here down the middle. It's a bit difficult to see what I'm doing because of all the fur but I'm just sewing the pieces together. Just continue all the way down. So when you've done that, we can just go into this where we where we stopped one of our leg where we joined two of the legs <coughs> because we didn't cut the yarn. So now we're going to work row number 14. So we're going to single crochet nine stitches, which is the first leg, and then we're going to do two increases between the legs but here first I'm just gonna mark where my round starts so crochet nine stitches
So now we're going to do two increases. So first we do two stitches, two um, single crochets in this stitch, and also two single crochets in the next stitch. And when you've done these two increases, you're just going to do single crochets for the rest of this row. So you just single crochet all the way around till you reach the blue thread. And for the next round, you're just going to do one increase right here between your legs where we just make the two increases. But other than that, you're just going to make single crochets all the way around. So for row number 16 to 22, you're just going to make a single crochet in each stitch and that is what I've done here and now you're going to mark them and that is what I've done here so what we're going to do is you're going to mark out your stitches so you have 18 stitches on one side and that's what I've done with the red threads and then you have um, 34 on the other side and that is the stitches that we are going to work now and that is also right here on the side where we have the blue thread and I've also put some stuffing in my legs so now we're going to work the bigger half of our mark stitches and for row number 23 you're going to make four sink crochets and then do a decrease so that means we're going to crochet two stitches together. So you want to do that for this entire round as I'm showing you here. So crochet four stitches. And then we do a decrease like this. And repeat this sequence all the way around to reach the first red thread. So now here with the red thread, actually where we're going to do a decrease. So you're just going to pull together so you can crochet on the other side of the markings like this. So you create your own little new circle. Just like that. And then crochet to the blue thread because that is where our round started. Just like that. So for row number uh, 24, we're going to do three single crochets and then we do a decrease and repeat that sequence all the way around for this marked stitches, for this circle we made. For row number 25, we're going to do two single, two single crochets and then we do a decrease and repeat that sequence all the way around. For row number 26, we're going to do one thing crochet and then a decrease and repeat that sequence all the way around. And 
at row number 27, we're going to do a decrease in each stitch. Just to close up the little gap. And then you're going to cut the yarn and then with your crochet we're just going to do a slip stitch and then just pull the, the yarn all the way through to create a knot and then we put the yarn on a needle and then you're just going to sew the little opening together so it's completely closed. Now we're going to put some stuffing in it. Now we're going to start with crocheting the neck. So now we're going to work the 18 stitches that we before just marked off. So here I start with a decrease stitch just to gather up the stitches a bit tighter. So for row number 1 to 4 of crocheting the neck, we're just going to do a single crochet in each of the 18 stitches. So I'll meet you back up when we've done that. So for row number 5, we're going to single crochet 4 and then we do a decrease and you want to repeat this sequence. So we have 15 stitches on the end of row number 5. For row number 6 to 9, you're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch. So just 15 single crochets. So now we're going to crochet the head. For the first row, we're going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to do five increases. And then you do two single crochets. And then you just repeat it. So you do five single crochets again and two single crochets at the end of this row.
For row number two, we're gonna do one single crochet, then we do two single crochets and one increase, and that sequence of the two single, cro single crochets and the increase, we do that 11 times, and then we end the row with making two single crochets. So for row number 3 to 7, we're just going to do rows of single crochet in each stitch. So you're going to do um, 36 single crochets in each of the next rows. For row number 8, we're going to do one single crochet, then we do nine single crochets and a decrease, and we repeat that sequence three times, and then we end the row with one single crochet. For row number 9, we do one single, crochet, one single crochet and then we do 8 single crochets and a decrease and repeat that sequence 3 times. So we have 28 stitches in the end of row number 9. For row number 10, we do 5 single crochets and then a decrease and repeat that sequence 4 times, so we have 24 stitches.
for row number 11, we're gonna do four single crochets and then a decrease and repeat that sequence four times so you have 20 stitches. Row number 12, we do 3 single crochets, then a decrease, and repeat this sequence 4 times, so you're going to have 16 stitches. For row number 13, we're going to do two single crochets and then a decrease. You're also going to repeat this sequence four times. So you're going to have 12 stitches. And now we're going to do some stuffing in it before we're going to close it up. For row number 14, we're gonna do one single crochet and then a decrease. And then you're going to cut the yarn, make a slip stitch and pull the yarn all the way through. And when you've done that, you're just going to put the yarn on a needle and sew the opening together. So now we're going to crochet the ear. So you're going to start with doing a magic ring where we put four stitches in it. First we do a slip stitch and then we go and put the four 
of our single crochets into our magic ring and with the ear I start with having both of the yarns as you can see because we want um, the entire ear to be uh, furry The second row of crocheting the ear, we're just going to make an increase in each stitch. So you're going to have eight stitches. For row number three, we do a single crochet and then we do an increase and then we do three more single crochets and repeat that sequence one more time. So you're gonna have 10 stitches. For row number 4 to 6, we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch. For row number 7, we're going to do a single crochet, a decrease and 3 single crochets and repeat that sequence one more time, so you're going to have 8 stitches.
for row number 8 you're gonna just crochet all of your stitches one time And when you're done with that, you're just going to do a slip stitch and cut the yarn. And then I pull the tail through where we started, just so it's going to be inside the ear. And you have to leave a long tail, because we're going to sew this on our alpaca head. So now we're going to make another one of those because you're going to have two ears. And now we crochet the nose. So you're going to start with a magic ring where you put six stitches in it. And now for row number two, we're going to put a increase in each stitch so we're gonna have 12 stitches and the next row row number three we're gonna do one single crochet and one increase and repeat that sequence six times so we have 18 stitches And for row number four, you're just gonna make a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And for the last row, row number 5, you're going to make one single crochet and then one decrease and repeat that sequence 6 times. So when you've done that, you're going to leave a long tail because we're going to sew it on our alpaca head. And now we have all the parts we need so we can start with sewing on the nose. So I just placed this where I want it to be, so it's just kind of random. There's really no way to explain how I figure out where to set it. I just set it where I think it would be in a real alpaca. But if I have to explain it then, not in the middle of the head, a little more down in the front also. But yeah, you're just going to sew it on as good as you can. Just make sure it's secure so it won't be loose. I sew it really really tight on as you can see me doing here. And when I had just a little opening left I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing in it just to make it the shape more visible. And now I'm gonna sew the ears, and that is the same. I just sew them all where I think it looks good.
so we're gonna sew back and forth a couple of times to make sure that ear is secured and then when you've done that you're just gonna make a couple of knots <coughs> to secure the yarn And when you've done that, I just pull the needle through somewhere in the head and just cut the tail off, just like that. And then you're going to sew on the other ear as well. Now I'm going to sew on the ears, oh not the ears, the eyes. And I also just do that kind of randomly, just where I feel like it fits. So I've already done one of the eyes, so now I'm just matching it up on the other side. Just starting with making a cross and then just making that bigger and bigger and filling it in. So when you're done with sewing on the eyes, your alpaca is completely done. So if this is how mine turned out and what it looks like. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. This was a bit different than what I usually do. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway and I hope you're going to try it out. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.